a neglected landscape, a rural wasteland. And in the middle of it, this. The entrance to a mysterious underground station. There's nothing here but trees and bushes within a two kilometer radius. So why on earth is there an underground station in this deserted place? We travel to Chongqing in China. Only 20 kilometers away from the mysterious underground station, it looks like this. A gigantic metropolis. With an area of 82,000 square meters, Chongqing is the largest city in the world. But the route to the mysterious underground station is very lonely and bumpy. station entrance. The entrance definitely isn't accessible by car. The road ends abruptly. From here on, it's only possible to walk through the middle of an overgrown landscape. About 250 meters further on, we find the site we're looking for. The underground station in the middle of nowhere. How can people get inside of here? The entrance is surrounded by a wall and closed by a rolling grill. Obviously, you aren't supposed to be able to enter this station at all. We can't find any other way in. Now and then, we see people in this remote area. What are they doing here in the middle of nowhere? Normally, only farmers pass through here. This is a very deserted area. But why do farmers need an underground station? We continue to fight our way through the bushes to the other entrance of the station and find this lift. It seems to belong to the underground station, but it's completely run down. Cables are hanging out. The windows aren't in the best condition. But we can't get in here either. Our team, however, discovers an interesting detail. The lift has no power. Yeah. But the elevator seems like from Germany. Such a lift costs around 100,000 euros. Why put so much money into an underground station that's not in use? Then we meet some tourists. We want to see the loneliest underground station in the world. Yeah, it's a great travel destination. Student Zheng Wei Chong also lives nearby. But so far, she only knows this place from social media. She shows us the east entrance, but unfortunately, it's also locked. I've driven through this underground station before, but I was never aware that the exit looked like this. I know these abandoned stations of Chongqing from the internet, but today's the first time I've actually been here because it's very deserted out here. Zheng Hui Chong thinks we may have better luck at the west entrance. And indeed, no bars. Even the escalators work. Everything looks quite new. At the entrance, we even meet a security guard, but he won't give us an interview. Turn off the camera, please. One floor below, this lonely underground station even has functioning ticket machines and security barriers. Even the trains are running every five minutes, but nobody gets off. To find out why there's a fully functioning underground station in the middle of a wasteland, we have arranged an interview with a construction expert. Leo Zhu is in charge of large government building projects and can explain to us what the lonely underground station is all about. First, a good infrastructure is needed, i.e. roads and underground railways, before the city can be developed. Chongqing is currently growing northwards, towards Lijia, where the city is now being built around the existing underground stations. 
This is a strategic point for Chongqing's development. One million people move to Chongqing every year. Therefore, the city is building like crazy. 130,000 square meters are built here every day. To ensure that the infrastructure doesn't come to a standstill, the metro is built in advance. At the moment, the network is 213 kilometers long. In 10 years, it's expected to be around 800. So, the city first builds the metro and then the houses. What seems crazy at first glance is very clever in the long run. This may now be the loneliest metro station in the world. However, in just a few years' time, it will be one of the busiest.